Hey everybody, Eckerish here. <laughs> I keep looking at the clock. I'm like, eh, I can do one more episode. So we are. We're just gonna do one one run on this one. This is probably a shorter episode because the double the the distance we're going now. The double episodes are coming up on the hour mark. So we're basically. Uh, I added a uh, another distance um, skill point to that to that. So we should be able to go even further. And um, I think one we're gonna start being able to uh, get some somewhat decent episodes out of. Uh, just uh, just one delivery run. So let's give it a shot here. See what we can get. Oh, there's some good. Looks like there's some good uh, toys. That sounds like fun. Um, there's some good uh, jobs here. So let's just check our different cities. Of course, nothing there. Five thousand, five thousand. I think beating five thousand. Not yet. I think the best I saw was. Down here somewhere. Five fifty one hundred. Anything beat fifty one hundred? Nope. Well we got toys for fifty one hundred and it's a black truck. Oh, kinda reminds me of uh oh, uh, what's the Stephen King movie? <laughs> With the black truck and the guy in the station wagon, the truck keeps following him. Was it? Duel, that's it, yeah. Thanks. I thanks for yelling that out there. I I heard you telepathically in the past. Thanks. Um, we're heading all the way to Elko, Nevada. I've never even been there, I don't think. Um, well, we just barely made it into Nevada, so this should be fun. Should be a, I hope the scenery changes and we get to see a little bit more, um, a little bit more of Nevada, hopefully. Let's get on it. So we're delivering toys. It's, it's going to be a night drive for a little while at least. Um, do our toys hooked up? All right, good deal. It's not a black truck. It's a it's a brown truck. How sad is that? Okay. All right. I don't want to be Mr. Brown. <laughs> Reservoir Dogs. It's too much like. Uh... Yeah. Anyway. All right. Let's get going here. Neutral drop this bad boy. Let's get this going. Can I actually pull out this way or no? I'm trying. Don't let me. Ooh, it's a close. Oh, it's tight. Okay, I made it. Made it. Good deal. Good deal. Let's swing wide here. Anybody breaking into your... He acts like he's the guard, but I don't see any type of identifier saying that he is. He looks more like a lookout. Alright, how are we doing there? Oh, we're going to clear that sign? Well, I don't know. How far back? How tall is that sign? It's hard to tell. It looked like I was about to clip the sign. Alright, so we need to make a left turn out of here. It's going to be 35 mile an hour. It looks good. Let's get on it. Even Sacramento, the capital city, with the with the toys. We got the toys. Ooh, how creepy would it be for a night run if it's one of those? Uh, if it's an entire shipment of the 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 symbol monkeys, you know what I mean? The ones that grin and they have the symbols and they clap. Or or here's even worse. Here's what happens. You're out there in the middle of the night. You're in Nevada, so you're like in the middle of nowhere. You uh, you roll, you do like a crash, you know. So you roll it, you roll your truck, and you uh, you land, and you're kind of entrapped, and these monkeys come out of everywhere, and they're just surrounding your truck, and uh, they're just all clapping and smiling and grinning at you, and it goes on for hours because they're in like demo mode, right? Okay, so then uh, and there's no there's all you hear is just incessant clapping over and over again and um, you know there's nobody coming to get you so please slow down for me please I'm gonna signal even though it should be obvious that I'm going on the highway there we go thank you Mr. RV thank you you're a fine Christian motor motorist there buddy that would be terrifying that's uh, you know what that sounds like a Stephen King movie I'm, I'm sort of on a little bit of a Stephen King kick right now so what's your favorite Stephen King novel or movie? Now his movies tend not tend to kind of, well, let's be honest, they suck for the most part. There, there are very few that actually are pretty good. Um, I thought I always thought The Stand was one of his best. Um, I always thought that was pretty good. Uh, actually, as far as books go, The Gunslinger series for me, hands down. That is just awesome. 
the Dark Tower. I shouldn't say the Gunslinger series. Gunslinger's the first book. It was the uh, Dark Tower series. Uh, that was that's my favorite books or book or books from Stephen King. What do you guys think? Any other books out there that are like sort of mind bending that are as good as the Dark Tower series? I mean, which ones? Which ones? Uh, what books out there have you guys read that haven't been made into movies yet? That are just like when you get done with it, you're like, you look around the room and you're like, whoa, I'm kind of seeing things in a whole other light now. It's uh, like when I walked out of the Matrix, I was like, oh my gosh, what if that's actually what it is? <laughs> but uh, are there any other books out there like that? Because uh, Dark Tower was sort of like yeah, the whole parallel universe and the threads of the universe all sort of being intertwined and based around this rose and uh, the rose sort of being, I guess, the center of the universe and all that. It's been a long time since I've read it, but uh, yeah, so. Throw your comments down there below. I'm lucky, I got some, I got some literate uh, viewers, so. That tends to help. Not many of you from Springfield, apparently. I was talking to my buddy at uh, at work the other day, and I was like, "Son of a oh shoot! Ah, oh, I got nailed for no headlights. Good call, man. Well, I guess. Yep. Good call. I should have had him on. Snuck up on me. Didn't even think. I better slow down. He's going to get me for speeding, isn't he? 61 and a 55, yeah, he'll give me for that too. Welcome to Nevada, we're in Nevada. Well, he better be flipping back around. He's If he's a California cop, he's got some issues. Swear, going into another state. It's not a really a big deal going into other jurisdictions inside your state because uh, typically you have mutual aid agreements. It's not a big deal at all. But... Um, Really, the only time you can cross state lines is if you're in fresh pursuit of the suspect. So, if you're in a pursuit, people always think, "Well, if I can make it to the state line, uh, I'm safe." Uh, nope, but I'm, I'm chasing you until the wheels fall off. So, I'll chase you through Indiana. I'll chase you through Illinois. I don't care. I'll chase you till I run out of gas. Is basically, what's going to happen? If we're in that situation, you better have a more fuel-efficient vehicle than all of us combined. So, plus the air unit, which will inevitably be there by then. But, uh, oh, here's I-80. Oh, wow, it's 80 through here? Oh, I love you, Nevada. I should have made my headquarters in Nevada. I don't think I had that option, though. Did I? I don't think I had that option. I would pick Las Vegas. Nah, I don't. Maybe I did. I don't know now. Way station. Do we have to get off here? Oh, yeah, we do. I wish that red line would actually go over to the way station. Maybe it does. Didn't look like it did, though. Okay, let's, let's pull in here, get weighed. But I was talking to my buddy, and, uh, hell, I don't even remember what I was telling him. <laughs> I can't even, even remember what I was saying. Oh, well, that's so much for that story. That was brilliant there. Way to tell a great story. It'll come to me, I'm sure. What? I... I stopped. What the? Did I need to hit enter or something? <sighs> Whatever. I thought it was going to be like a toll. I don't think you have to hit enter at tolls. Oh, we discovered the biggest little city. Awesome. Got another way station for me? Oh, well. That new truck's just slipping further and further into the into my rear view. Wait, not rear view. That doesn't make sense, because that means it's behind me. Uh, further and further into the horizon. There, that makes more sense. There's no way I'm even going to hit... Oh, it's 65 now. I'm going to say, there's no way I'm going to hit 80. I can just keep, my, keep the hammer down the entire time. Uh, so I wonder if they're going to actually have it where you can... 
go all the way across the because I, I think going up to New England which would be really cool along the coast down to Florida um, Texas might be the world's most boring trucking simulator ever just dead straight and then you know after that there'll be some more straight and then like just more straight after that but where I do want to see them go next, it looks like they're going to Arizona next. I'm like, dude, it's pretty much the exact same as Nevada, so okay. But uh, maybe a little flatter. Um, I'd like to see them go up to the Pacific Northwest into uh, Vancouver, the Vancouver area. Vancouver Island, you could take a ferry over to Vancouver Island. That'd be sweet. And then uh, Alaska, that'd be really nice. And then you could do the Aleutian Islands in Alaska. And uh, you could even do some ice ice road trucking up there in uh, Canada. Canada. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. I don't think anybody says it like that. It's like my version of Mexico. Oh, get through there. Okay, we're fine. We made it past the stop bar. What the heck was I talking to my buddy at work about? What the hell, I can't remember. It's driving me nuts though. It's, it's sitting there in my head like a little itch I can't scratch. How we doing here? 194 miles. All right. Well, this 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 trip's going to be a little short, but the nice thing is, once we level up again, we'll uh, let's check her. Oh, wait, is he in my lane or not? No, he's not. Kind of want to go center lane here if I can. I don't want to be in this in the uh, in the hammer lane if, uh, especially as a truck. I think there's supposed to be some legislation coming out in Ohio where if you have three lanes like this, a uh, truck, unless there's an actual, like, maybe say there's an accident or something like that, but if road conditions are normal, uh 18-wheeler cannot be in the left lane. They can only be in the right two lanes. And for me, that would be freaking awesome because I've seen these 18-wheelers get three wide, and I'm like, dude, what are you guys doing? And they're doing, like, 50 miles an hour going up a slight grade like this like a little grade for like three miles and they're the, the guy in the in the left lane's like I, can, I think I can pass the other one I think I can I think I can and then inevitably he drops back and falls in behind the, the one in the center and can't pass him after you know a good five or six miles it's like my god man what were you doing <laughs> just you know stay in the left two lanes it's kind of rare nowadays to uh why am I going so slow? My gosh. At least I'm not in the left lane doing this. I guess I thought it, I thought it was like 55, but I guess it's actually 65 through here. I'm getting passed by everything under the sun, though. I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to stretch the video length out a little bit. Yeah, it's better. I'm starting to kick up the, kick up the speed a little bit here. All right, yeah, this is much better, much better. I like Nevada. I'm starting to really like Nevada. Oh, 80. I'm, I'm loving Nevada. How fast can we get this thing going? I want to get this thing up to at least 70. If I can get up to 70, I'm going to be pretty happy. Not on a downhill. I'm talking about, like, 70 on a normal straight. I want to actually need to pass this guy. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm passing. You're going to have to let me in, buddy. I got plenty of speed to pass. Don't worry, I'm not going to hold you up. I so cut him off. Now see, I-80, this is the way it should be in Cali. Oh, we're doing, 70, we're doing 77 miles an hour? Can I get up to 80? Can I actually do 80? This is wicked. Alright, I'll move over for you there, bud. Thanks, I passed about a dozen cars, so no complaints. Still 80. I have to keep checking because I'm afraid it's gonna drop the speed's gonna drop. I'm gonna be doing 80 and a cop's gonna be I'm gonna be blasted by a cop, blowing his doors off. I'm gonna get like a thousand dollar ticket. 
we're doing good, man. 77 miles an hour. I'm pretty happy with that. 78. All right. Making great time. Winnie Mucka. Whoa. Couldn't see that. Couldn't see that for that. <laughs> the text on the uh, screen. I almost hit the center divide there. Man, there would have been monkeys all over this road. Probably bright lights here somewhere. No. Nope. Oh, that's engine. What is that engine? The engine lights popping on whenever I hit B. I thought it was going to be brights. Can I actually move over? Yep, I can. Let's try not to. I do need to get the track higher going. I will around episode 20, I reckon. <laughs> Because I can't stop playing this. I've played like three episodes tonight since I sat down. And this will have to be the last one because I need to go do some video editing. Get some videos processed for tomorrow. We got what, I think the Long Dark episode 22 coming up. Um, should have another... Uh, let's downshift and get some speed up here. Should have another episode of Firewatch coming out. That was a fun game. It's, it's pretty much a it's, it's pretty linear, but there's a really good story going on with it. So, I was forgiven. I just it, they have such a beautiful world. I kind of wish it was more open, um, with like little side quests, and it kind of let you just kind of meander along at your own pace. But the dialogue, I don't know how well it would work if you did that. But imagine it would be pretty good. Sorry, I yawned. I literally yawned right there, guys. I don't know how bad that is. It's probably like a huge YouTube no-no for a commentator to sit there and yawn in the middle of your videos. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie to you about it. So, Where's that? Honest to a fault. Are we still... Oh, we're not. We're only going... Okay, well, I'm speeding now. It's 73 here for some reason. I'm doing 79. So let's slow it down a little. Well, let's get past this car first. And then we'll slow it down. And this truck, it looks like. It looks like we're flying up. Oh, is he going to speed up on me? You piece of crap. Pick a speed, bro. Pick a speed. We're back to 71. Oh, now it's 80. So we can put the hammer down. All right. You're not getting over, bud. Sorry. You had your chance. When you were in the fast lane, you could have kept going fast. But no, you had to be a little coward about it. School bus, huh? Must have had a. Ah, uh... oh, son of a gun! I missed my exit. Arr. Okay. Well, this episode just got longer. We'll just uh, we'll do a flip. We'll flip up here. It's no big deal. I think we're coming into town, actually. Oh yeah, we can just come in a different way. It'll probably actually reroute us here in a second. I think it will. I think if we get off here, we'll be able to reroute into. Yeah, we're gonna be all right. I could see our destination back there, so it's not gonna be a big deal. Yeah, we're just going to do this. It, there it goes. It just rerouted. Okay. That was fortuitous. Thirty through here. Pretty quiet. Pretty quiet little town. Oh, green light. Stop for speeding right here. Okay. Here's the itty bitty stop bar that looks like a freaking crosswalk. Like half a crosswalk. Green light. 
Oh wait, that's not my turn. I'm determined to get lost. Determined to make this episode longer than it has to be. Here we go. Is this a rest area or a truck dealership? I can't tell. It looks like there's something here. It looks like a vehicle inside. Maybe it's a garage that you can buy, like, you know, real estate. I don't know. There's something here. Something right over there. What is that? Truck headquarters. Oh, yeah, so you can buy that headquarters. Ah, uh, gotcha. I'm sure that's out of my price range. At the moment. My trucking empire hasn't quite made it there yet. Our trucking empire. We're in this together, people. Mainly because I don't want to have to pay for the speeding tickets by myself. Alright, we're at Eddie's. Here's your clapper monkeys. Yeah, that's so, so, so suspicious. Alright. Let's see here. Um, where do we need to park it here? Okay, so this is the same layout as it was before. So, we want to go straight and then back all the way down. So, we're going to do that. I think... I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to be overconfident. Not going to happen. We just need to back it in here. I think it's the best way to go. Someone parked a stupid black van right where I need to be. Mm -hmm. I think I can cut it tight enough here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we're past the black van. Okay. What else do I got out here? Anything? No, not really. Just the roadway, basically. I'm over something. I think I just went up over a curb. But that's okay. That's okay. We're okay with just going over curbs. That's not a big deal at all. So suspicious. Mm -hmm. You look like a freaking ADT commercial is what you look like. The most non-diverse commercials I've ever seen in my life. ADT commercials. Or any type of a home security system commercial. No minorities were represented there, I'll tell you that much. Unless they're a victim. Alright, here we go. Oh man! Nice little slow clap for that. I got it. I'm patting myself on the back here. Oh man. Really should have stretched first. There we go. Excellent. We're still a newbie. Halfway to level five. How much cash do we have now? Oh, we're getting close. We're getting so close. All right, guys. Well, I knew this was going to be a shorter episode, but we had to break it up from going from uh, two short runs to one longer run somewhere and this happened to be that episode so like comment subscribe and i shall see you in the next episode of american truck simulator y'all take care and drive safe out there